Ever since we heard that Elon Musk is planning to buy Twitter, most of us were interested in investing at the right time. And the best way to analyze stock market prices is by using candlestick patterns. In this video, we will learn how you can make your own portfolio of stocks and build a quick candlestick dashboard for the same. Hi everyone, welcome to Techie Anshi, where we talk about data. I hope you enjoy these next few minutes with me. If you do, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. For the purpose of this video, we are going to use finance.yahoo.com to source our stock market data. You can go there and search for any stock that you're interested in and you will be able to see all the historic data around the same share. Let's go ahead and download for the last five years. These are some of the columns and the fields that you will be able to download from the Yahoo Finance site. We'll do the same for Meta and we'll also do the same for Snap. So these are the three stocks from our portfolio that we are going to analyze today, which are around the social media. Let's go ahead, connect the source to the Tableau dashboard which is a text file. Let's pick the first one, which is Twitter and using union, I'm just going to drop all the other sources as well. Here I have all the sources and the last column, if you see, says table name, which specifies from which of the source is the data coming from. Let's begin with creating a very first sheet, which is the candlestick graph. For this, we should first know what exactly is a candlestick. You can think of this as a simple candle with a wick, for which you need four values to plot it. One is the closing price at which the share price closed, the opening price at which it opens, the lowest price that it hits on that day, and the highest price as well. If the closing price is greater than the opening price, then the candlestick would be green in color. However, if the open price is higher than that of the closing price, then the candlestick would be red. However, for the purpose of this video, we will use a different color combination. There are various kinds of candlesticks, but the purpose of this video is to not educate you on how to study candlesticks, but how you can create them in Tableau. So let's go ahead and get started with that. First, we will pull the date into the column shelf, make this an exact date and change the marks card to a Gantt bar. Next, we will pull the open into the row and this is how this, the graph starts to look. Convert this to discrete and then pull the close as well, sorry, the low as well onto the row shelf. Then make this a dual axis, synchronize both your axes and this is how the chart would start to look like. We need two calculations which is basically the difference between your opening and your closing price. So I'm just doing a sum of close minus sum of open and similarly a difference between the high and the lowest price for which I'm again creating one more calculation. Once you are done creating both of these calculations. We will use them in our chart to create it. Okay, so let's pull the difference between close and open onto the size shelf of the first marks card and also to the color shelf. Let's edit the colors for now. Use red and green. Just make sure that you fix the center to zero. Next, from the second marks card, remove everything and put the difference between high and low onto the size shelf and the sum of low onto your detail shelf. You can reduce the size over here and send the second axis to back. We can increase the size of the first card. So here we have all the values, but if you see there are a lot of values over here for which we will quickly put a filter for relative dates for the last one year for now, right? And if we fit this to an entire view, this is how a candlestick starts to look like. We can do some basic formatting changes like hiding some of these grid lines and also hiding the header, which is not necessary at this point in time. 
I will also change the shade of the candlestick to go from a pink to a purple shade. That's the color that you are going to use. Just make sure that the center is always zero. I am now filling up the sheet to a different color that is something that matches my dashboard aesthetics and this is how my graph now starts to look. I am just formatting my axis and here is our candlestick graph that's ready. Okay, let's go ahead and begin with creating our second sheet which is analyzing the opening price trend for which we will pull the open price onto the row shelf and the date into the column. As a default, the date is shown as years. Let's change this to an exact date and this is how it starts to look. We'll add, we'll make sure that from the previous thing, our date filter is applied to all the worksheets that belong to the same source. And let's just hide some of these grid lines. And also we don't need any of these headers because we are going to use this as a sparkline chart right so I'm also going to remove the axis rulers as well and this is how it starts to look few aesthetic changes and we should be ready with it this is how the opening price trend graph is looking like Let's go ahead, duplicate and let's do the same for the closing price. All that we have to do now is change the opening price with the close price and edit the axis, remove the include zero checkbox and then go ahead, duplicate this for the high price. Same, the same drill, right? And we'll just go ahead, edit axis again over here and hide the header duplicate and do the same again for the low price trend as well with this we have four of our spark lines that we need on the top of our dashboard now we need to know what was the latest opening price of the share for which i'm just going to pull the opening share price to the text and i'm also going to duplicate the date and use this as an individual date to put a filter for the latest date onto the workbook so once the workbook opens up it always filters to the latest date with that we have our open sum of open over here and then we'll just format this and make this white and i think we should also make this a little bit more bigger so that it is readable yeah I think this looks good. Let's add a small dollar symbol before it and that's done. Right, let's rename the sheet and we have our opening price matrix ready. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. We'll do the same exact steps to get the latest closing price. Just quickly go ahead and keep duplicating and making that for the highest price as well as for the lowest price of the day. So these are all the sheets that we need but we apart from this we also need one more sheet which will help us filter for the relevant stock. Okay this is what we are going to do. Let's pull the table name into the column shelf. So now we have all of these three different sources and we'll pull the same to the shape as well. Now let's reload the shape and assign a nice relevant shape to each of these marks and once done let's hit OK. Format the background, let's align it in the same way as the other sheets and hide the headers and any lines that you see on, on this sheet currently. The major task that's left now is to put all of this into the dashboard and make this a great one. We'll fit the width and the height of the dashboard and let's color it into this purple shade. This is how our dashboard is going to be. Let's first start with a text on the top and let's call this as a social media stock market analysis and I'm going to pull one more container just below it. Let's give it enough padding so that it aligns it well in where we exactly want it to be placed. With that done, let's now have a small icon just next to the social media analysis text and this would make it look a little bit more professional 
let's also add the company chart that we created earlier and this would basically act like a filter over here on this dashboard and help you filter any of the sheets let's pull our candlestick graph and this is how it starts to look we also have this container on the right side where we have the date and a quick legend i'm adding a small area in between the candlestick graph so that we can fit all on our kpis and the spark lines Let's move the legend down in the bottom and expand it a little bit and let's move the date over here right now and then we will later adjust it to where we exactly want it to be. Okay, but for now this is good, right? Let's also make this left aligned and make sure that the fonts are the same. With that, let's also do one more thing of giving it an enough inner padding right so that the headings and also this graph aligns with each other yeah now it looks good next let's start pulling all of our kpis on the top for which we will need a horizontal object let's resize it and also give it an inner padding same as the other sheets on this dashboard let me now start pulling up the kpi text that i need so let's start with the opening price trend and let's make this as the same font and let's do the same for the closing price trend the same drill similarly we'll do this for the high price and also we'll do the same for the low price so we have all the text that we now need as part of our kpis or the spark lines whatever you want to call it okay with that let's pull one vertical column in between the opening and the closing price and let's pull the opening price trend into it okay so i'm just going to pull it over here and then move the opening price text on top of it now the lower part will be dividing into two for which i'm using one more object and then here i have my matrix and next to it i have my spark line so this is how it starts to look let's go ahead and edit the color of this one and make sure that the entire box is of the same color we'll give it a little bit of inner padding so that it starts looking like this how do you like this isn't it looking nice now the same thing is what we'll have to do for all the other kpis on this sheet right once you are done editing and formatting one of it, I think it should be easier to format the other ones on the sheet. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same for the closing price trend, right? The same thing, I'm using a vertical container and then using the bottom container, I'm dividing it into two and using one for matrix, right? I'm just adding the dollar symbol, which we missed in that particular one. With that, editing right this is how it starts to look giving it the same color and yeah we have a second kpi next let's do the same for the high price and the low price let's pull various containers and adjust all our sheets well so that they follow the same exact same way of the other kpis on the sheet right i'm not going to stress exactly on how i'm doing it if you feel that this is going a little bit too fast then you can watch this at a 0.75 or a 0.5x speed right it will help you slow down things over here sure once these four kpis are ready once everything is done over here let's do one small thing as well let me just finish this first okay this is done let's distribute all of these tiles equally so that they have you know spaced out equally now let's move our filter on top of this area so this is how it starts to look like okay, right we have all our kpis on top and the candlestick graph just below it right i'm adjusting 
a little bit over here on the inner padding and I think this looks nice now. So here is our final dashboard and let me know how do you feel about it, right? So you can use filters for specific months, years, quarters or days and you can choose whether you want to use a previous year or the same year or you can also give a specific range right that you want to look at right this is how your graphs would look like and then you can use various patterns and make your own analysis around it i hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed filming this if you did please don't forget to like this video and let me know your thoughts in the comment section if anything is there you want me to cover in my upcoming videos please go ahead and suggest the same and i'll be happy to make videos on those topics thank you so much for watching techie anshi stay tuned for more content coming on this channel bye bye